Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Daniel Norton, photographer here in New York, and I asked you, how did I like this? This is a fun one. I was actually doing a demo, or planning a demo, where I was going to try to show how to replicate what we call like available light, light that's there, right? And of course, the obvious thing is let's make the sun and stuff like that, but I thought, you know, let's create something that has mood and is a night shot. And what I wanted to create was a shot where it looked like either kind of car headlights or maybe a street light was shining in through a window in a dark space. And how we did that was, I basically, this is, this is it's definitely not a street light. I'm up on the 12th floor of, of a building in Manhattan, which is where my studio is, which was nice because it got all the other buildings out of the background. I have out there a dado light. And the dado light is shooting towards the window, obviously creating this really cool flare and creating, effectively the window was super dirty and I actually dirtied it a little bit more. I sprayed water on the outside and let it kind of be a little grimy so you couldn't see through it. This way you can kind of see over here, where you see this spot there, that's actually a building. Here's the grimy part I'm talking about. And the light's just shooting through, coming from basically there, right? Coming through the, this window, shooting this way, it's giving her the highlight here. It's highlighting her beautiful red hair. And in here, in the room, I've just got another light and it's backed up really far and kind of just filling the space with light. It's not really super soft, though you don't see much shadow from it because just the nature of how it's filling. It's not projecting right at her, right? It's just kind of like filling the space. That's also a data light. It's a data light in a little tiny softbox. That gives us enough contrast here. And the important part, the part that sells this is that it's slightly underexposed, right? Her skin tone here is maybe like half a stop underexposed because that's how it is, right? If you're if it's in, if you're inside and it's dark and you see something bright coming through a window, your eyes adjust to it. And when they adjust, what's in the room seems a little bit darker than it should be. So in order to sell the effect, I really needed to do that. No, I guess by the way, you can see here on her fingernail and here you can see the reflection of the light in the room that's kind of giving her that fill. So that's how we did that one, creating mood in a really small space. I'm in a big white photo studio and I created something that felt like Somebody was looking out a window in, on street level and seeing what was out there, right, at night. And, of course, it was at night. You could do a similar thing like this during the day if you used flash, but I did it at night with a constant light. In any case, I'd love to know how you would do this or any other comments you might have. Go ahead and let me know. Also, check the description below. You'll find a link to my Discord and my Patreon if you want to sign up there. And please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you soon.